Welcome to Goals, Dreams on a Timeline. I'm Dan Gonzalez, peak performance coach and the author of the international bestseller in sports psychology and personal success, The Art of Mental Training, a guide to performance excellence, available on Amazon. I wanted to walk you through some ideas and concepts that have helped me in the past relating to goals. This is not a goal workshop as much as it is to share some powerful ideas and concepts to get you thinking about how to approach some of this work. So we start with the idea of what's your dream or what are your dreams? And then we're going to move on. I want to read you a few little passages out of this book because sometimes Things are already thought out and presented in a concise way. At certain times in my life, I've looked around and found myself having temporarily achieved my goals, looking back on all the hardships, the obstacles, the challenges, and even some of the negative people who had done their best to try to keep me down. Somehow, I still did what I intended to do and got myself where I wanted to be. So what is it that drives us to try again and again to keep us going, to just take one more step, even when nothing seems to be working? A dream, that's what, a dream, a vision, and that's where we start. So part of the assignment here out of the book is I ask people, what's your dream? That's your assignment, because without a dream, you're only drifting. So keep that concept in mind. And what we do is I encourage people to imagine having arrived at where it is that they want to be. In other words, let's just pick five years down the road. I want you to do what we call some imagineering. You set a few minutes aside, you relax, you close your eyes, and you start imagining what it would be like what your dream is and what it is like having arrived. What's going on around you? Who's around you? What's your life like having arrived at one of your dreams? And when you get that going in your imagination, you add those feelings of success and accomplishment to your imagineering session. And that starts generating motivation to start moving and doing the things that need to be done to get there. So you ask yourself, what must have happened in order for me to have arrived where I see myself having accomplished my dream? What must have happened? And you start thinking about those things because that gives you an idea of what we need to accomplish at one year, at three years, at five years, to finally arrive at what we see we want as our end result. So, let's keep it simple. Let's take a look at a few different things, just ideas. What kind of goals would you have that you want to accomplish? And we'll pick three at one year, that can help you accomplish the goals that you want to reach at three years that can help you accomplish the goals that you want to reach at five years. And these goals can be about anything. These goals can be personal success goals, personal development goals, relationship goals, financial goals, things I want to do things I want to acquire, things I want to share, career plans, projects I want to get involved in and finish, maybe school, business plans, and even goals related to people, whether they're positive or negative influences in your life, and goals related to giving you a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. So as you look at these ideas, you think, I want three goals that relate to some of this or perhaps something else that I haven't mentioned and I want those three goals to be accomplished within a year and then you do the same thing for three goals related to these ideas for three years and five years and these will all 
interconnect to help you arrive at your five-year goals for whatever categories we're talking about. It's just some ideas here. Now, let's go another step further. When you pinpoint these goals and these ideas, I want you to decide why it's important for you to achieve each of those goals and each of those time frames. And why is important because that generates motivation from within. That's an emotion that drives us. If we know the why, then I want you to just take a moment and write out a short paragraph to yourself about those goals. One paragraph. Write it out. Why is it important for me to achieve those goals? How will it change my life? What will it do? How will I feel? Why is it important for me to achieve those goals? And, and if I don't, how disappointed will I feel if I don't take action to work towards achieving those goals? So ask yourself, why is it important? Write it out, a paragraph for each, a paragraph to yourself. That's going to start the momentum. Then we need to create plans. We need to do the work. And once we create these plans, we need to take action. So we're creating action plans to arrive at each of these goals. Right? So let me just go back in here for a second and read you a couple passages. Warrior champions set out to turn their dreams into reality by taking action through goal setting. Often personal growth and peak performance are directly related to how well the warrior champion has mastered goal setting skills. And that's what we're talking about here. Mental athletes are goal oriented. They have a vision. Goals, they serve to keep you on target. They increase your desire to achieve. They increase your self-confidence as you experience measurable improvement. And with proper goal setting, the quality of your practice sessions automatically improves. Goals enhance performance and help create achievement. So, a couple guidelines here. When you're setting your own private goals, be sure they are both challenging and realistic. Slightly out of reach goals are best, inspiring hard work, yet still attainable with dedicated effort. They need to be set neither too high nor too easy and low, which would defeat their very purpose. Goals should be written down and reviewed frequently. Let's talk about that for a second. There's something about writing things down, writing my goals down and then keeping them where I can see them, writing down why it's important for me to achieve these goals. And what is that? So inside of us, there's a goal striving mechanism. It's at a subconscious level, but once you engage it, it is like going to drive you it is going to give you the motivation to keep moving forward. It sees that vision. And one of the ways that you can engage it is not only through imagineering sessions and seeing and feeling that your success has already been achieved in your mind, but also writing things out. That has a way of also helping engage this goal striving mechanism, which is really what we want to do. Goals should come in the form of daily goals, monthly goals, and annual goals. And remember that what you're striving for is progress rather than perfection. Now, we've talked about how we want these to tie into each other so that what we achieve here at this level and what we achieve here at this level, it all helps us get to here. Think about that. There's nothing wrong with goals that have been thought out, all right? The problem is sometimes we just throw goals out there and we say, I don't want this and I don't want that. But think about it. Goals are not about what we don't want. Goals are about what we want to achieve. So keep that in mind as you create. Ask yourself what you want to accomplish, not what you want to avoid, all right? then. Decide 
why accomplishing your goals is important. And we've gone over that. Create your plan, take action. Now this here, it, it goes back and forth. Once I've decided, I commit to achieving that goal. And as I commit, I persist in plowing through the obstacles and the challenges and I adjust my plan as I need to. And you see how it goes around and around. I adjust, I decide again what is going on, what I'm shooting for. I commit to it, I persist. I've got to adjust course. I'm back to deciding, committing, persisting, adjusting. Always moving forward. You have to believe in yourself. Self-belief is what gets everything going. Incremental successes at working towards and achieving our goals, that gives us even a stronger self-belief system. It improves our self-confidence. And therefore, what I'd like to do is invite you to the theartofmentaltraining.com. There's a course there that I've put together over seven hours. It's an audio course that you can download and instantly it's on your device. It's yours to keep. Once you purchase it, you'll have this as a foundational walkthrough with workshops and, and, and one of the workshops that we do in the exercises is called Creating Your Future. And we go into this process at a much deeper level to get you focused and moving towards what it is that you really want to accomplish in your life. I'm Dan Gonzalez. Thank you very much.